The Bolt Electric Trim Tab System is an excellent addition to your boat and will help balance loads, plane faster, and increase efficiency and performance. Your authorized Bennett Marine retailer can assist you with this project from ordering parts to offering product information and advice, Bennett Marine retailers are there to help. Remember that if you do tackle this job yourself, please follow all applicable laws and remember to use the appropriate safety gear. Before installing the bolt system, open the boxes and make sure all the necessary parts are in the kit. A bolt system consists of the bolt trim tab kit and the bolt helm control which is sold separately. The indicator helm control option shown here includes the relay module and the helm control. The trim tab kit includes a pair of trim tabs and actuators, two actuator upper hinges, actuator extension harnesses, two actuator lower hinges, two Deutsch connectors, and the manual. Bennett Marine's general guidelines are to mount the trim tabs at least eight inches from the center line and three to four inches from the chine. Anywhere in that area is okay as long as the measurements are symmetrical. And yes, the trim tabs can even be mounted over the strakes. Prep the transom by measuring and marking with painter's tape. Find the center of the transom and tape off the area that will be covered by the engine. Now measure out from the center point to find the outside edge of the trim tab. In this example, we measure 24 inches from each side to the center point. Tape and mark. Now measure and tape a quarter inch above the bottom of the hole to mark the bottom of the trim tab plate. Begin by holding the tab against the transom. Align the corner of the hinge with the cross point of the side and bottom measurements. Mark the top outside hole. Drill the hole using a 532nds bit. Be careful not to drill completely through the transom because this can cause a leak point. Drill the hole so that the number 10 screw does not bottom out. Now attach a fastener to help hold the tab in place. Make sure to get a good countersink to prevent the gel coat from cracking after the installation. Line the bottom of the tab up with the lower measurement line. Mark and drill a second hole. Remount the tab and the two fasteners. Double check the measurement lines to make sure that the trim tab is even. Now mark the rest of the holes. Remove the two fasteners holding the tab in place and drill out each of the holes. Make sure to get a good countersink to prevent the gel coat from cracking after the installation. Remove the painter's tape and clean the area. Use Psychoflex 505 UV or 3M 5200 to fill each hole. Then connect the holes with a continuous line to create a better seal. Attach the tab with the two fasteners used to hold it in position. Sealant should be seen in each of the mounting holes to ensure against water intrusion. Once all of the fasteners are secure, use a soap and water mixture to clean off the excess sealant. Remember that excess sealant around the edge is a good thing, it means there's a complete seal. Insert the stainless steel hinge pin to connect the actuator to the lower hinge. Tap the pin into place if necessary. Check the hinge to make sure that it's secure but has a full range of motion. Use two 3 quarter inch fasteners to attach the actuator to the tab. Run the fasteners through from the outside of the tab. Hand tighten to prevent from stripping the threads and then fully tighten them. Now attach the upper hinge with the bolt, washer, and lock nut. Make sure not to trap the wire in the upper hinge. Setting the height and angle of the trim tab is crucial. Using a gauge is highly recommended to maintain the correct position. The back of the trim tab should be 5 eighths of an inch above the bottom of the hole for 12 inch cord tabs, or 1 half inch above the bottom of the hole for 9 inch cord tabs. 
measure at the center of the tap. Mark the perimeter of the hinge, the three mounting holes, and the center hole for the wire to pass through the transom. The mounting screws are number 14 and require a 1364 drill bit. As with the trim tab, do not drill through the transom and make sure that there's a good countersink. The center hole requires a 3 8 inch drill bit. The center hole does go completely through the transom. Now remove the upper hinge from the actuator and run the wire through the center hole. Run the rubber grommet over the wire and against the hinge. There's an extra layer to prevent water intrusion. Adjust the upper hinge so there's a little slack in the wire. This will prevent the wires from pulling loose as the hinge pivots. Secure the upper hinge with the bolt, washer, and lock nut. Make sure the rubber grommet is secure in the hinge. Remove the painter's tape and run the wire through the center hole. Fill the three mounting holes with sealant. Also put sealant around the wire, mounting holes, and around the edge of the hinge. The hinge will need to be disconnected from the actuator in order to access the mounting holes. Secure the three fasteners. Clean up the excess with a soap and water mixture. Reconnect the actuator to the upper hinge and tighten. The threads from the fastener should protrude through the nut. Do not over tighten. Repeat this process on the other trim tab. If you have any questions, please refer to the manual. Remember, if at any time you feel like you're in over your head, contact an authorized Bennett Marine retailer for assistance. Thanks for watching and happy boating.